our world has recently reached a high point for global innovation, making the world better for all of us. But will this continue? Or will the coronavirus pandemic freeze innovation finance and slow humanity's progress? The 2020 edition of the Global Innovation Index, or GII, addresses this urgent question and finds that the money to fund innovative ventures is drying up. The impact of this shortage will be uneven, with effects felt more heavily by young firms, R&D-intensive startups, and in developing economies already facing a scarcity of innovation funding. Still, any crisis can bring creative disruption and opportunity. The COVID-19 pandemic has already led to new international research collaborations. It has stimulated interest for innovative solutions in healthcare, teleworking, education, e-commerce, mobility and more. The GII 2020 also presents its annual ranking based on 80 innovation indicators. The top of the GII is still led by developed economies, with Switzerland, Sweden and the US leading, followed by the UK and the Netherlands. China is an exception and still the only middle-income economy in the GII top 30, ranking 14th for the second year in a row. The geography of innovation is continuing to shift towards Asia. And for the first time, a second Asian economy, the Republic of Korea, enters the top 10, alongside Singapore, which has been in the top 10 for the past decade. Four countries have seen the most significant progress in their innovation ranking over the past 10 years. China, Vietnam, India and the Philippines. The top economies in the Northern Africa and Western Asia region are Israel, Cyprus and the United Arab Emirates. The Latin America and Caribbean region is led by Chile, Mexico and Costa Rica. Topping the rankings for middle-income economies are China, Malaysia and Bulgaria. Tanzania, Rwanda and Nepal lead their income group. Innovation levels often reflect economic development, with developed countries typically having higher levels of innovation. However, this year there are 25 countries that outperform relative to their development, including Georgia, Jamaica, Thailand, Morocco and South Africa. The African continent is growing in innovation importance. Out of 25 economies identified in the GII as outperformers, eight are from Sub-Saharan Africa, with South Africa, Kenya and Rwanda topping this list. In Latin America and the Caribbean, Jamaica and Costa Rica are the leading outperforming countries. Innovation varies between nations, and it also concentrates in selected cities and regions. The GII 2020 identifies the world's top 100 clusters of science and technology. Tokyo Yokohama is the top performing cluster, followed by Shenzhen Hong Kong Guangzhou, Seoul, Beijing and San Jose San Francisco, better known as Silicon Valley. The US continues to host the largest number of clusters, with 25, followed by China, Germany and Japan. Six middle-income economies host top 100 clusters – Brazil, China, India, Iran, Turkey and the Russian Federation. As the world faces innovation uncertainty linked to the global pandemic, support needs to widen beyond the health sector, and government innovation expenditures should offset any falling private sector innovation funding. The GII 2020 calls on business and policy leaders around the world to sustain innovation for the benefit of everyone.